There are few things in life I like to do more than make people laugh. I've realized that my impressions bring joy to others and that I'm able to grasp a sense of character that most others can't. With my good friend, quote, the most interesting man, end quote, aka Stephen Bick, manning the cam, as well as participating and being his legendary self, this show was designed for your laughter and enjoyment. So please, take a seat, sit back, and enjoy. This is Sud Stevie! Now I'm sure you've all heard of City Rewards, Seen the City Thank You Points commercials. We have the weather balloon. We have the, somebody left the gate open. If, you, if that sounds familiar, you've seen it. So check out our next segment. Little City Thank You Rewards kind of spoof. I got this new City Thank You card and started earning loads of points. City Premier card gives you more ways to earn points. What's your story? I could help you write it. Hey, so Steven, what are we gonna do about all these thank you rewards we got? Oh, look at this son of a yeah, Get the f the row! Look at this guy. That's why we're gonna get a gun to shoot this <laughs> Is that too much cursing for you, Jam? <laughs> I don't, you know, I might have to put a lot of duck sounds in this video now. Don't worry, ducks are awesome. I love ducks, man. They, they're delicious. In fact, City Rewards does give you free ducks, man. Free Canadian ducks? Canadian ducks. Sweet. No, but seriously, I was in debt. Yeah. I lost my uh, house to foreclosure, and uh, I got a loan from City, and uh, now I owe him a lot of money, so I'm further in debt. <laughs> Which is that ridiculous. seems like City City bailed you out there. They Wait. did for like two months, and then I finally got the statement, and uh, wait, kisses on. I love this song. It reminds me of the old days in the 70s. You know? I hear you. I wasn't even alive, but I was in my mother's womb. And she was a party girl. You're rocking it out in there, huh? Oh, yeah. We'll drive you crazy, City Rewards. Bye, City. Remember, you can get anything you want with City Rewards. Oh, <laughs> you can get a new camera. New camera. You can get. Whatever you want, you can get a bomb, you can get a gun. I mean, uh, I love you know? City Bank because uh, they built City Field and I love the Mets. So there you have it. Oh, cops out. <laughs> break, break, break. Okay. So if you need any other convincing, oh. just give us uh, you know, just give us a shout out. We'll tell you all we know about City Rewards. Best thing ever. Just wait until you see what we got with the thing. You bought a bomb with points! Yes I did! So uh, we got so many points that not only do we buy a bomb, we also bought a cool gun, man. Yeah, I know. That's mad nice. That is just that's, that's such a cool gun. I love it. It doesn't even work. Oh, oh. Hello and welcome back to Sud TV. I'll be continuing cleaning up your comedy with this next segment. Now this next segment is going to be a spoof on MTV Crips. I'm sure you've all seen the show. It's been on MTV for a long time. They've interviewed from anywhere from famous rappers to famous athletes. So, I hope you enjoy this next segment. All right, well, here we are at the legend's house himself, Mr. Steven Bick. Now, I don't know if he's home. We're not supposed to be here right now, but we're gonna check and see what he can do for us. Hey, hey Steven Bick! <laughs> Man, yeah! Yo, what's the camera for? Uh, you know, just doing a little thing here. It's a little uh, documentary, if you don't mind. Welcome to the mansion, baby. <laughs> you know, man. If you could just show us around, that'd be cool. I got some ladies around, so I don't know if they're naked. Oh. All right. All right. Well. Come here. Cheers. Twenty-four karat gold, Egyptian. <laughs> Stolen. Man, let's go. Come on. Man. Trophy. Olympics, yeah. Wow. Tennis, first place. Tennis. 
Yeah. I didn't. We didn't know you were a tennis player. Blah blah whatever. Nothing on me, boy. See all these tennis trophies right here? Yo, no, this is karate. Karate oh, man. trophies. Let's go, man. So the legend. No. Ten tennis and karate. Yo, my new movie out in theaters right now. Go watch it. Avengers IMAX. See you that? That's me, Captain America, Patriot. Oh man. Yo, come on, come on. This guy's more interesting than we thought. What is? What is? See that kid over there? That's my son. Raul, show yourself, man. Have some common decency. It's a video. How you doing? Come on, man. What is it? Kill me. Kill me, man. Stand up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's not. All right. This is just a documentary, all right? I don't want any, I don't want any whipping going on, okay? Put your ass down. All right. See this? What else do we got here? What do you want me to show you, John? Man, show me, show me what makes you legendary. Show me what, what separates you from the rest. All right, this separates me from the rest, man. This banana too. It's from Brazil, straight imported, yo. What's <laughs> good? What's good? You gotta have the sips, the sips Latino drink. Oh not man. Not Spanish, but it's about the sips, man. You gotta have this green stuff. It's uh, natural lemons, man. Natural, natural lemons? In a you bottle. Got natural man. lemons in a bottle? I've never even heard of that before. Tuscan milk. It's my actually my own company. I produce it myself. Oh, jeez. And then you gotta have the fat free Tuscan milk. The best, yo. The best. What do we got here? We got some tortillas. I don't know. I don't know, man. It's the ladies, you know. The ladies like to eat. I don't eat. Is I that Parmesan eat, cheese? You got Where? Parmesan cheese too? Where? Over there. Why is this in the fridge, man? It should be in the cupboards. I don't know, man. It's crazy. We're all doing that right here, man. I don't know, man. What do we oh, got man. here? Oven? We throw some kids in there. Alright, let's keep going. Keep going, uh. Oh, 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 man. Give me a break, yo. Kit Kat. Give me a break of that. A Kit box of Kit Kat. Oh, man. Give me a break. Give me a piece of that Kit Kat bar. Of course, man, of course. Oreos, the same thing. Clock. Oh, it's, man. It's 4 o'clock right now. As you can see. <laughs> Battleship. Yo, Battleship. Great game. Yu Gi Oh! You guys still play Yu Gi Oh! I still play Yu Gi Oh! It's the best. You know, monster cards. Magic. It's all about Blue Eyes White Dragon. No. Dark Magician. Oh, I'm it's sorry. Dark Magician, alright? Oh, man. Out of the card, man. Dark Magician. And, you know, as you can see, my diet consists of bananas and fast food and these beautiful, beautiful apple critters. Amazing, awesome. And, uh, as you can see, come here. All those houses, I own them, man. I own every single house on wow. this planet. Wow. Yeah. That's wrong, man. So if I parked in a driveway outside, it'd be yours. Wow, no, man. Because you're John Sadowski, man, and you too are a legend, and you can be too. Oh. Alright? Wow, okay. speech right there. What up, what up. And uh, this kid over here, we call him the gentleman. He never speaks. He hasn't spoken since he was born. Alright? Alright, so... So tell, 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 us how, tell us how we can contact you if you want to be contacted at all, or... Maybe a website or a, or a new promotion you're doing. Morse code, baby. Morse code. You gotta tap that. And I can hear it. Morse code, yo. All right, you heard it here first. This is a documentary MTV Cribs. Stephen Bick, the legend himself. I'm John Sadowski. Signing. So Stephen, tell me, what do you want to do today? I want to eat some rice pudding first. Check. And then we're gonna take. <laughs> All right. Sounds good. Yeah, let's do, do it. it. Guess who? Suns TV, back with another. Should I use the word segment again? We'll go skit this time. Back with another skit. This skit's gonna be about Seinfeld. It's a little spoof on the Seinfeld show. Very, very funny show. My favorite TV show out there, favorite sitcom. It's been around for a while, but memory lives on in this following skit where George has a new pair of pants that are really terrible but Cherry and Kramer try their best to make George feel better despite what they actually feel about the pants. 
Oh, look at this. These new pants are going to do wonders for me. Hiya, Jerry. Yeah. Oh, hello, George. George, you look terrible. What, what happened to you today, George? Did you get a haircut? Kramer, does it look like I need a haircut? Jeez, no, I'm talking about my new pants. How about them? Oh, no, 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 yeah, 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 George, George, they look, they look really great. Really great. Oh, you did, you did a nice thing there, George. You did a nice thing. They look so... No. Ah. Oh, thanks, Kramer. Women, look out. There's a new George in town. Oh, hey, George. George, did you lose a bet? What do you mean, Jerry? Well, I mean those terrible pants that you're wearing, George. What are you doing? Oh, no, Jerry, this is my new look. Are they really that bad? Oh, George, you're wearing them intentionally? Well, then I completely understand. I mean, if you lost a bet, that'd be totally different. They look nice, George. Good job. Ah, oh, Jerry, you're the best. So, coffee shop? So it's TV once again. We're going to take you to a little Charles Barkley clip now. In this clip, Charles Barkley is, well, being Charles Barkley. You know what I have to say about that dunk? That dunk was terrible. T-R-B-L-E, that dunk was the nastiest thing I've ever seen. Don't come up in here and tell me that you can go dunk when you come off showing like that. I mean that hoop, I mean that can only be like eight and a half feet high. It wasn't even anything to be proud of. You should be doggone ashamed of yourself for calling that a dunk. Please, I've seen better dunks from toddlers. It doesn't get any worse. You know what I have to say about the New York Knicks? Now this is completely, completely irrelevant to anything we're talking about. I have to say that the New York Knickerbockers are the biggest trash I've ever seen. Now, there are some people out there that absolutely hate the New York Knickerbockers like I do. And let me tell you one thing. Those are the smartest people on this planet. Now, if you want to be a happy basketball fan, root for the Miami Heat. Now, those guys are just so good. I mean, you have Dwayne Wade, you have LeBron James, and you got Christina Bosch, excuse me, Chris Bosch, Manning Center. And let me tell you one other thing. That little boy, Mario Chalmers, that kid has got a lot of talent. Don't sleep on him. If you sleep on him, you get burned. You know, I had my fights with Shaq. I done punched Shaq. No, no, I punch Shaq. Is this an interview or an interrogation? Don't make me mad now. You know, now I've had enough. And now we move on to our final segment of the show. And this segment relates to my blog and the fact that 
has to do with sports broadcasters. Ever hear of Marv Albert? Well, if you haven't, I'll make sure you know who he is after this segment. Don't miss it. Well, as you can see, I am still broadcasting games on your select channel, TNT, and that's about it. Hello, and here we are at United Arena, home of your Chicago Bulls. Tonight we have Michael Jordan making a comeback for the third time of his career, and quite possibly the final time of his career, we hope. Michael returning to the game at 49 years old. Jordan, for three! You betcha! Oh, so you didn't like that. I'll try it again. Jordan, at the buzzer! Yes! So, you like that one better. Fair enough. That was invigorating. And here we have um, a fellow by the name of uh, the Cookie Monster. He is holding one, two, three, four chocolate chips, which also happens to be the number of the day. And also, Behind him, he is holding another cookie, so the son of a is hiding from me. He has a hole for coins in the back of his chest. Why the hell do you need a coin slot in the back of your chest? Anyway, back to the game. Jordan dribbles up court, looks to his right, looks to his left, pops a three at the buzzer. Yes! Michael Jordan with a courageous performance, a heroic-like flu-ridden Michael Jordan, and the Bulls win game five. That is exactly how it went down. Kenny, you should take notes. Why am I sitting at a table with a You Bet chocolate flavor syrup bottle and a laptop? The world may never know. Oh, damn it. That is for the Tootsie Pop. I have up royally. Regardless, as I see in the corner of my eye, there is a curious George of the man with the yellow hat sitting by his lonesome, I feel bad. Even though he is a stuffed animal, I'm sure he has some feelings. My voice changed through the middle of that sentence. Why? I have no idea. I started broadcasting because I could. I know my voice is absolutely perfect, and I thought it would be the great job. I guess if you're going to step up to the plate, you might as well swing. That was a baseball reference. Ouch. Why is there a phone ringing? 
Hello, this is Marv. Please leave a message number. The rudeness of some people. I think that I am the greatest broadcaster in the world. Kenny, you should be taking notes. This has been Marv Albert talking about absolutely nothing. We'll be right back after a word from our sponsors. Oh. Well, well, I guess I just gotta practice more. Oh my god! What the? Oh, <laughs> these have wings! Let me try these on. Whoa! A pump! Let's go! Oh. Now, throughout the making of this episode of Sets TV, there were a bunch of bloopers that I thought were blooper-worthy. Enjoy the bloopers at the end of this video. Why am I wearing glasses? Okay, that's weird. Hey, Steven, what are you going to do today? Really? Hello, Jerry. Yeah. Hey, George. We have an intruder. Amanda Sadowski! You ruined the whole scene! Sorry. <laughs> Welcome back to Sets TV. I'll continue to clean up your comedy. For the next segment, we have an MTV Scoop Crip. Welcome back to Sucks TV. Of course, I'm John Sadowski. In the next segment, we'll be doing an MTV Crip Scoop. And... That's pretty annoying. Okay, now I need to move again. No, 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 they're really George. They're really, they're really George Great. George the Great.
and welcome back to Touch TV. I'll continue to be cleaning up here. Hello and welcome back to Sus TV. I'll be continuing to clean up your comedy. As we go through the show, I got more skits coming up. Right next we got MTV. Hi and welcome back to Suds TV. I'll continue to clean up your comedy with a nut with another. Oh look at this! Look out everybody! Kramer, does it look like I need a haircut? Women, look out! There's a new George in town! What do you mean, Jerry? Oh no, Jerry, this is my new look! Are they really that bad? Oh, thanks, Jerry! Oh, hey, George. George? Did you lose a bet? George, did you lose a... George, did you lose a bet? Oh, hey, George. George, did you lose a bet? George, did you lose a bet? Oh, hey, George. George, did you lose a bet? Well, I mean, those are some terrible pants you're wearing! Well, I mean, those are some terrible pants you're wearing! Oh, of course not, George. If you wore those intentionally, if you wore those unintentionally, I would have been a little worried, but you wore them intentionally, so you're good. Well, I mean, it's a completely different story. If you're making a conscious decision to wear them, George, you look great. Coffee shop? 